All right, we're at the Lighthouse Classic with Holly Springs. Uh, was just defeated by the Webb School out of Tennessee. We have uh, Coach Kanzaki Jones. Coach, be here to introduce your player for us. Jared Fountain. All right, uh, Coach, going to start out with you, man. Uh, they, they got the jump on you uh, and, and got the big push. Uh, do you think that kind of had an effect on the, the entire game? Was that early push they got? Yeah, any time you give up 22 points in the first quarter and only score six, you're giving out the home to the man with the man. So, um, got in foul trouble, you know, it was what, nine to one, you know, before we could realize, hey, and, you know, it was just a game. They, they, they kind of came out and hit us in the mouth first, and we just hit that point pretty much too. Yeah, man, I just, I noticed your guys played very hard to the last second. Your guys still really gave up, man, but they, you know what I'm saying, you guys scrapped, y'all played hard. I wanted to know, where did you get your press and stuff from trapping all over the court and staying the breath? Oh, um, well, I, for the past 18 years I've been coaching, man, that's pretty much what I like to do up and down. Um, just coming into high school about a month ago, you know, trying to enhance my style with what they do, you know, but, um, I will say that the kids do play hard and they didn't quit on me, so that's one thing we can build from. But we had a hard fall game last night in Ridgeway and went down to the wire and not to make any excuses, but I think that may have had an effect on us getting started earlier today too. But once again though, they showed some resilience and I appreciate that. Derek, coming to you here, man. Uh you got off to a horrible start. I think it might have been foul trouble. You know, got you. And, and, and I'm sitting here looking at these numbers 17, 9, you know, two assists, two blocks, four steals. And that actually surprises me that you was able to turn it around like that and piece together that good of a game. Um, what did they do early other than foul trouble to kind of get to get in your head? Um, maybe show the impression they had on defense, forcing their they Yeah, I noticed, man, on uh, defense, you, you kind of alter shots, you kind of be long, kind of block shots. And uh, I seen an offensive end that, you know, saying so you showed that you can play face in the basket. And uh, you, you went on the inside of this and things, too. So, uh, you know, I, I know um, by you wearing a mask, I know they can affect your game. How, how do you feel that affect your game? You know, I know one time you almost took a blow. How did that affect you in uh, tonight's game? I'm trying to get used to the mask, but. Okay. Uh, Coach, going to finish it up with you here. Uh, you know, you look on the other side there. Uh, I know you guys got after. You know, you, you played hard and everything, but you you look at Keon Johnson the other day. He in 31, 14, and eight. He almost got him a triple double there. Uh, what does that say about that that young man on the other side of the court there? He's very versatile, you know, he's, I love his motor, he, he's a quality basketball player. The body is in the face, the body is in the face, the body is in the face, but we got one guy that's dominating like this, who's got a great job on our end, but, you know, he, he, he did what he's supposed to do, so, you know, he, he just got to take my hat off to them. Coach, coach them well, they play real hard, you know, and they went to their job and that's true. Uh, I'm going to finish it up here with you. Uh, you know, you touched on you've been to Holly Springs about a month now. You know, come over from Mahler Branks, come in real quick, stepped in, tried to try to piece things together uh, the way you like them, the way you want to roll. Uh, you know, coming into a situation like that, uh, Coach Gilgore had had a loaded schedule. I mean, it's a great schedule. I would be salivating yeah. if I if I could come in and get at something like this right here. You know, uh, what is it like for you to be able to step in and have the schedule set forth and be able to plan these events like this? Well, you got to step up to the call, you know, it, it's a tough schedule, you know, but I got a, a good group of core guys that's experienced with me, and Tyneen and Corey Bell, they all played on the left, and last year, um, uh, Faulkner, he started about 12 games in the season, so he, but I can see the experience as well, but we're real young as far as depth goes, as far as playing time, but I have a good core junior sophomore um, that, that have been filling the space pretty well, but it's a tough schedule, but, um, we start district play Tuesday, so hopefully Center Hill game and this game and you know the game Ridgeway will help us grab up for that since that's the most important part. So I think by the time we get through going through all skill um non-conference schedule, we should be ready to roll with the district time. So
All right. Thanks, guys.